ஹலோ கைஸ் வணக்கம் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு மீட்டி நர்சிங் அகாடமி ஒன் ஆஃப் த லீடிங் அகாடமி இன் ட்ரைனிங் நர்சஸ் இன் த நர்சிங் காம்பிடேட்டிவ் எக்ஸாம் ஆஸ் வெல் ஆஸ் ஐஎல்ஸ் அண்ட் கிளக்ஸ் அண்ட் ஒய்டி ட்ரைனிங் டுடே வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் மென்டல் ஹெல்த் நர்சிங் டிசார்டர் சி இட் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி எ கொஸ்டின் ஆன்சர் டிஸ்கஷன் செஷன் ஆல்ரெடி எஸ்டர்டே ஐ ஹவ் போஸ்டட் ஏ வீடியோ இட் இஸ் தேட் இன் மீட்டியர் நர்சிங் அகாடமி யூடியூப் சேனல் இன் தட் ஆல்சோ வி ஹவ் டிஸ்கஸ்ட் அபவுட் த மென்டல் ஹெல்த் நர்சிங் previously most frequently asked questions with the rationals along with the key points as well as the golden points in continuation of that today also we are going to discuss about the question paper discussion related to mental health nursing here also we are going to discuss each and every important points it is going to be very much useful for you for the upcoming competitive examination like norset so watch the video till the end definitely it will be so much useful for you if you like this video please like it share it subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon see all these questions are already discussed in the yesterday's class okay so please watch that video and come to this video okay directly don't come to this video first go and watch the video which i have posted yesterday okay because this video is continuation of that video fine so today the question what we are going to start is involuntary repetition involuntary repetition of words spoken by another person whenever you come across the word key point involuntary repetition of words immediately you have to think about a option called as echolalia it is a direct question guys involuntary repetition of words spoken by another person immediately you have to think about what echolalia okay so that's why i have selected the option d echolalia see here you can see the rationals of other options like euphoria what is euphoria it is a symptom of bipolar disorder this is the first golden point okay it is a symptom of what bipolar disorder in bipolar disorder mania and depression both the characteristics will be there which cause mild elevation of the mood euphoria means mild elevation of the mood okay and it is the characteristics of bipolar disorder so these two point has to be kept in mind here how the patient will feel see the patient will feel like sense of well being and happiness and it is commonly seen in hypomania which mania hypomania so all the points wherever i have highlighted all are very important so euphoria means it is seen in bipolar disorder and here mild elevation of mood will be there and patient will be very happy and sense of well being will be there see guys the next important point related to euphoria is stages of mania there are three stages of mania hypomania acute mania delirious mania euphoria is coming under what hypomania what is hypomania i already said that mild elevation of mood will be there mild elevation if this hypomania it will be severe means it is severe means it is called as what acute mania and acute mania it is becoming severe and it will leads to what delirious mania means hypomania means mild elevation of the mood acute mania means moderate elevation of the mood delirious mania means severe elevation of the mood okay so these are all the stages of mania and it is related to euphoria fine and the next option what they have given is word salad it is very simple one word salad if you take a plate and if you cut the fruits or vegetables and put together you are cutting different fruits and putting together in the plate and now that plate is called as what salad the same way here also the patient is going to put random words together random words together under in the key point group of words put together in a random fashion okay without any connection without any connection group of words are putting together in a plate in random fashion which is having not having any connection which is not having any connection it is called as what word salad okay i have given one example also dog sleep chicken pencil trees is there any relationship between these words there is no relationship between these words at all okay so the patient is giving some words and making some sentence but there is no meaning at all this is called as what word salad and it is seen in the this is condition called as schizophrenia okay it is a disorder of thoughts 
Fine. Okay. Let's move on to the next question. Shift of one idea to other without completing the previous idea. See the key words. Shift of one idea to other. Suddenly his thought is changing from one idea to another idea without completing the previous idea. Very important key point. Without completing the previous thought or previous idea, suddenly shifting of the thought or shifting of idea is taking place. This condition is called as what? And here the right answer is option A. That is flight of ideas. More ideas are coming into the patient mind that's why it's first ideas are becoming incomplete and second ideas are originating okay so this is called as what flight of ideas okay and it is very commonly seen in manic patients which patient manic patients okay and the next option what they have given is thought block see from the name itself, we can easily understand what is thought block. It is an abrupt interruption in the flow of thoughts or ideas. Sudden interruption. Interruption means what? Sudden blockage in the thoughts. Okay. That result in disturbance in the speed of association. The patient doesn't know what he is talking. There is no association between the sentences what he is forming. Okay. So this is called as what? Thought block, abrupt interruption of the ideas. And this is the thought disorder. And the next very common term, neologism, means coining new words. Most of the people know about this, coining a new words. Okay, for which patient has the personal meaning. This is also coming under what disorder of thought and seen in psychotic disorder. Seen in what? Psychotic disorder. See, I will give an example of neologism. You are, when there is a pen, this is a pen. Consider this is a pen. Okay. So this pen, everyone used to call it as what? Pen. But the patient can coin the new word. And he is know that, he will know that this object is there means that person will be Naming this object in a different word only know to the person or only know to the patient. The patient only know that particular word resembles pen. Understand? And we cannot understand what the patient is saying. So in a simple term, what I want to say is neologism means coining the new word. Only the patient know the meaning of that new word. Others cannot understand what the patient is saying. That is called as what? Neologism. Okay, and the next one is idea of reference. This is also one of the option. What is idea of reference? Let me give one simple example so that it will be easily understandable for you. A person shopping in a store and he is two, seeing two strangers. A patient is standing in a store and he is seeing two strangers. They are laughing. They are laughing. And patient believes that the two strangers are laughing by talking about the patient. Actually, there is no connection between the strangers and the patient. But the patient thinks that the strangers are talking about him and laughing on him. This is called as what? Idea of reference. It is also coming under what? Disorder of thought. And seen in psychotic disorder. See, keep on I am saying psychotic, psychotic disorder. What is that psychotic disorder? See, psychotic and neurotic disorder. It is also called as psychosis and neurosis. The differentiation between the psychosis and neurosis is very, very important, guys, to understand the psychiatric nursing. See, what is psychosis and what is neurosis? The first and very important thing here in the neurosis is insight is present for the patient who is suffering from neurosis. The patient know what he is doing. The patient know what he is thinking. Understand? Whereas the psychosis patient doesn't have any insight. They doesn't know what is happening to the patient. Okay? They doesn't have any awareness about the disease condition or the problem which is going on within the patient. It is called as what? Psychosis. Insight is present means neurosis. Insight is not present means psychosis. Some other characteristics differentiation is also there let's see one by one in neurosis judgment is present psychosis judgment is absent personality not affected whereas in psychosis personality is affected 
delusions are pres- absent whereas here in psychosis delusion are present there are different types of delusion already we have discussed delusion of grandeur delusion of persecution thought uh, insertion thought withdrawal thought broadcasting many delusions are there okay all those things we have discussed yesterday's class hallucination is absent hallucination or present in the psychosis no disorganized speech in neurosis whereas here disorganized speech is present disorganized behavior is absent in neurosis and here disorganized behavior is present on the whole if you see neurosis means the patient is normal purposefully he know what he is doing he can feel what is happening within the body whereas in psychosis the patient doesn't have awareness or insight about the disease condition what is going on within him okay so this is the difference between the neurosis and psychosis the next question is most of the students will make mistake in this question what is that the outward bodily expressions of emotion that range from joy to sorrow is called as outward bodily expression it is the key word whatever the patient is expressing it is observed by the examiner whatever the patient is expressing bodily outward bodily expressions those expressions are observed by the examiner that condition or that is called as what uh, here the right answer is option b affect what is that affect okay so here the person is expressing and it is observed by the examiner it means it is affect okay so here you can see very clearly affect is objective mood is subjective in affect what is happening outward bodily expression of emotions that range from joy to sorrow okay and which can be seen by the observer these are all the golden key points you supposed to remember which is related to affect and one more thing is mood means subject you the patient is saying what is happening within them okay the patient is saying about his emotions it is subject you okay it can't be observed by the examiner okay so that's why we selected option b that is affect what about insight ability of the patient to recognize what is happening within him or what mental problem is happening within him the ability of the patient to recognize and accept the problem happening within him that is called as what insight and it is seen in the psychotic disorder okay and the next one is judgment the patient capacity to make appropriate decision and appropriately act in the social situation the examiner or a psychiatrist will give you a social situation to you and they will assess in the mental status examination how you are answering to them that's that is called as what judgment okay and the next question is the loss of interest and inability to experience pleasure in activities that was previously enjoyed by the individual underline the keyword loss of interest inability to experience pleasure in activities that was previously enjoyed by the individual this point will take you to the answer anhedonia okay so here which is the right answer option c anhedonia is the right answer let's see the other options also see as i mentioned already anhedonia means one of the characteristics of depression it is a characteristic of what depression see depression patient always have the tendency for what suicidal that is also very important question frequently asked in the examination so this depressed patient will have loss of interest inability to experience the pleasure in the activities which previously enjoyed by the individual okay that is called as what anhedonia and what about apathy here also there is no interest no attitude indifference meaning is also lack of interest okay it is a negative symptom of schizophrenia okay whereas these key points are not present or not related to apathy what is that the pleasure in activities that was previously enjoyed is not at all related to apathy it is only related to anhedonia that's why we selected option anhedonia okay and the last one is evolution it is a lack of motivation or will lack of motivation commonly seen in schizophrenia and depressive patients 
द नेक्स्ट वन इज फैब्रिकेशन ऑफ स्टोरीज टू फिल द मेमरी गैप्स इट इज कॉल्ड एस and they have given four option disassociative amnesia compulsion confabulation akathisia and here the right answer is confabulation fabrication of stories to fill the memory gap it is a direct question it will take you to the answer confabulation so additional information about confabulation it is an organic brain disorder see organic brain disorder means alzheimer disease uh, delirium dementia cognitive impairment all those things are coming under what organic brain disorder okay see here in confabulation the patient has the memory gap and patient know that the patient is having the memory gap that is the important point the patient know that the patient is having the memory gap and in order to fill the gap the patient is framing some stories this is called as what confabulation See, dissociative amnesia is commonly seen in dissociative disorders. What is dissociative disorders? First, let's see about that. See, dissociative disorders means here the patient is experiencing disconnection. Underline the key point: disconnection and lack of continuity between the thoughts, memory, surroundings, action, and identity. There is disconnection. between the thoughts between the memories between the surroundings that's why it is called as what dissociative disorders okay so the dissociative amnesia is the example of dissociative disorder so in dissociative amnesia what is happening inability to recall the important personal information this is the very important key point inability to recall important personal information okay that is generally related to you know traumatic or stressful nature let me give one example the patient would have underwent any a uh, serious accident okay and after the recovery if you are asking to the patient how the accident happened how did you reach the hospital the patient doesn't have any memory related to that patient says i don't know how the accident happened how i don't know how you came to the hospital i don't know this one will be the answer from the patient so this is called as what dissociative amnesia and the next one is compulsion means a repetitive impulsive act to perform the behavior to reduce the anxiety it is an example of obsessive compulsive disorder okay so obsessive means repetition compulsive means doing the activity okay to reduce the anxiety fine and last one is akathisia it is a side effect of anti psychiatric drugs okay anti psychiatric drugs because it these anti psychotic drugs will block the dopamine uh receptors okay these are all the dopamine blocking drugs okay whenever the dopamine level is decreased it will cause what restlessness motor restlessness so akathisia means what motor restlessness the tremors will be there okay so this kind of movement is commonly seen in patient who is taking what anti psychiatric drugs it is also coming under what extra pyramidal symptoms for the patient who is taking anti psychiatric drugs okay so that is called as akathisia fine guys so, so far we have discussed about the mental health disorder previously repeatedly asked important questions with rational golden points and key points so if you like this video please like it share it subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon see so keep on watching our channel please share this kind of videos to everyone so that everyone will get utilized from this okay if you are supporting our channel definitely it will make us to motivate us and we will be posting more and more videos in the future thank you very much guys